Hi friends, today I am going to show how to create Spring Cloud Config Server. So what is Spring Cloud Config? Spring Cloud Config is a microservice for creating properties. So this, using this Spring Cloud Config we can externalize all our properties into a distributed environment. And in the client application we can use like uh, at the rate value and dollar property how we'll use uh, properties inside our resource folder so now i'm going to uh, uh, show the demo of uh, the config server using file system uh, config server supports file system vault git and svn based files so in this example i'm sh going to show demo of file system so now i'm going to create one spring starter project so I'm going to name it as spring-cloud-config-server-file-system. So it's demo of file system. create spring cloud, cloud config server I need config server dependency so I have to select config server and here I am using spring boot version 1.5.2 so click finish project so spring cloud config server by default look for properties inside a config folder so I have to create a folder called config and I have to place the properties inside that so that spring uh, cloud will pick the properties from that folder lo now I'm going to create the property files so I have named it as tb dot property So in this property file I have added four property values, driver class, URL, username and password. Similarly, I am going to create one more property file. So I have added broker URL, username and password. These are RabbitMQ details. Now I am going to edit application.property. So I want this Spring Cloud Config Server to run on port 8888. 
so I have to set that using server dot port. Or else I can use while running I find the server dot port equal to port number. Spring cloud by, by config server by default look for properties of git URL. If I want to change that I have to set spring dot profile dot active. If I want to point it to file system the we have to give native as uh, profile dot active. So I have given the profile as native. So it will look for uh, properties inside my config folder. So now I am coming to Spring Boot application. So to enable to run this application as a Spring Cloud config server, I have to add at the rate enable uh, configuration. When I add this annotation, this Spring Boot uh, works as a config server. So I am going to start my application using Spring Boot Starter. See the application is started. Uh, it's looking for profile native and it is initialized in port 8888. These are the URLs for retrieving the properties. So I can use slash name hyphen profile dot properties uh, or slash name hyphen profile dot amil slash name properties dot json or else I can use slash name slash profile or slash name slash profile slash label here label is null we have not if you are using the git repository we will be having different type of labels so in file system the label is null the name is name of the property and profile is the profile here we have not created any profile based properties so the profile will be default so now I am going to postman and hit the config server URL. The profile is default and the name of the property file is T. So it it is got the property from config folder and the property name is db dot properties. Similarly, I can look for mq properties. So it got mq dot properties. I can get directly uh, JSON properties. Here we'll directly get the values of the properties. Coming to my screen. So I want to add one more uh, property file dbi and dev dot properties. Add one more property file. So 
here I'm going only URL. I'm going to save and I'm going to restart the application. So now our, our config server has three properties, db dot property files. One is with default profile, and this one is with dev profile, and this one is with QR profile. So I'm going to Postman, and I'm going to hit. When I hit default, I'm getting default profile. If I go with QA. I am getting both QA properties as well as default one. Similarly, if I hit with dev, I am getting de dev property file and the default property file. So, see, if I retrieve the properties of db hyphen qa dot properties in the property file we have given only url but it got all the properties because it will look for the properties which is there in the default if you are not giving it will take from default properties thank you friends in my next session i am going to show how to use uh, uh, such 